Hey everyone, we are sitting in the car. We um have been down at the market all day. So now the next project is going to be a... Bunnings. A Bunnings? No, what are we going to build? Put your hand, take your hand away from your mouth, Bobby. Acer. Acer what? What are we going to build? A hovercraft. I don't know what they're saying because they don't know what you're saying because you got your finger on your mouth. You got a... Hovercraft. Hovercraft. Hi, baby. So, right now we are going to Bunnings and, oops, so I'm using this new bloody handheld bloody selfie thing. So, like self um, bloody stabilizing shit. It's actually pretty cool. Anyway, so we're going to Bunnings right now. We're just going to go and get a bit of um, board. I've got a, um, got a tarp, like a sort of a tarp in here as well, like a, a material tarp. So hopefully that should be okay. I'm not really sure. So we're going to buy a board, staple gun, staples, some more tape. Um, I'm got, I've got, I have a leaf blower, but I probably need to, I'm, I've been looking at some, you know, online on Marketplace and Gumtree and stuff. So yeah, because I want to try and make it so it can, it can um, take my weight. So if I can make it so it can take my weight, then bloody fantastic so yeah let's go to bunnings we're here now i'm just gonna pan around you see that that is the car park of bunnings we're back in the car now that took a lot longer than expected because i couldn't really decide what board size i wanted so initially the the plan was was that i was good i was going to build it big enough so i could fit on it and it could take my weight but the prices of these boards were pretty expensive and so the size that i wanted yeah i wasn't willing to spend that amount of money just for a little hobby if you know what i mean that's that's i thought you know what i'll make it nice and small um, just so Asher and Violet can, can go on it and have fun. And if that's a success, then I can then take what I've learnt and then put it on a bigger one. So, yeah. Let's uh, get home and I will show you everything that I bought. This is the board that I've got. 9mm ply. Um, as you can see there. 1200 by 897 so it's enough for Asha and Violet to sit on hi have Asha and Violet sit on and technically it should be enough you know it's just a bit too small for me but hell we can try and make it work then I thought I can't be screwed in with a um a staple gun to kink, ka -tink, ka -tink, ka -tink. so I got an electric one now this is going to be to um uh, what do you call it? Staple the tarp down to the board. Then some duct tape and some more staples. So pretty much that's that. That's it. Now I've got my um my blower here. Right, well, I've just got this elect this battery powered one. Now it's not going to be enough. Okay, that won't be enough. So I'm supposed to be picking up a petrol one tonight from a bloke's house, but I'm trying not to spend any money. See, thing is, in the backyard, I've got a, um, a lawnmower engine. So I could potentially use that lawnmower engine, weld on some, you know, some fans, some fan blades, and then switch that on and just have like a big hole, phew, easy, you know what I mean? Or I could use this engine this was off the drift track. Well, it's still on the drift track, to be honest with you. I should probably finish this, the drift track first before I start anything else, eh? So, that could potentially be easier because, you know, I've already got the horizontal shaft here, whereas the lawnmower, it's a vertical shaft that spins horizontally. This is a horizontal shaft that spins vertically. So, that technically would be easier because then I could put a little bloody flywheel on here with some fans on it and then have that shooting out, you know, out the back 
with a bit of a hole in 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 the back part here where the air can go kind of in and fill up the um the the tarp the tarp i'm going to be using is just that thing there so i'm trying to use everything that i've got at the house which i don't want to be spending lots and lots and lots of money if i was to do this properly yeah sure um your, your, your cheapest leaf blower brand new that i saw there was 109 109 bucks but you know i'd need three leaf blowers i reckon to get to get me going three leaf blowers i'd buy a nice strong tarp um and uh yeah a nice seat etc i mean i wonder if we can use these seats just for a bit of fun see if we can you know use one of these seats um on it but let's see how we go so we have begun now basically this is what we've done <laughs> i should be a poet that's going to be the front so we're going to chop that off i'll try and get it as symmetrical as i can i should have just put a spot in here with a string and bloody a pencil but eh, i didn't want it to be too circular i kind of wanted it to be a bit more oval and then it's on the ends here just a two one just to make it a bit more smoother so we're going to chop that off with our trusty makita saber saw and um yeah let's get to it was surprisingly not really harder but not as neat as I thought it would have been granted it is a saber saw they are kind of pretty um hard you know they're not very smooth like a jigsaw is so but I don't have a jigsaw so yeah I want to take the battery out of huh yeah, a what a jigsaw that has a spark glazing no that's an angle grinder yeah yeah now, we don't use an angle grinder for that, we use a jigsaw. But now, we'll get the sander out and sand the edges. I think I made a bit of a boo-boo here. Yeah. Let's just hope that that's okay. Update time. So, got my tarp and cut it down to, you know, somewhat dimensions. Um, so I pretty much just laid that thing down there, kind of like roughly cut around, just because, you know, I'm spoiled for space here. I could reverse that out, that's, you know, the whole plan, but I just can't be bothered. You know, it's too cold, then I gotta leave the garage door open and Willem comes inside and runs outside. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on my boxes and then drape this, then drape this, turn it over and then over the top and then start drawing holes in it. George Lassen did and my did. And that is all the wheels on there. Yes. Yeah. This is my best. So, oh, okay, now I can. So that is the same part that I need to do. So, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, very good. All right. Did you guys get all of that? Yeah. When they get started, they just love explaining things, which is awesome because it means that their minds are going, you know what I mean? Good work. Everything okay, Baba? What? What? <laughs> right, okay. What is Baba saying? Okay, now. Now we have to do, actually hang on, we have to get the tarp, let's get the tarp now and put it over the top. Now what I've done is I have got this lid and I'm just tracing circles on um, this tarp here. Now I've got no idea <coughs> how many circles to do. So I'm just, um, yeah, going out on a whim here and seeing if this is actually what I need to do or not. Obviously, the more holes you have in there, the more holes you have in there, the more air can escape, so you need more air going into it. So, let's see how we go, eh? I started cutting the holes with trusty blade. 
Now the holes aren't really that great, but then I thought to myself, well, if there's too much air going out of it because of these holes, how can I somewhat restrict the flow? So then I thought, why not just cut a cross section, like crosshairs in the holes? So pretty much something like this, right? So the air can still come out, but yeah, do you, do you sort of see what I mean? So, save time, saves a lot of time. So let's see how that goes. Okay, all the holes are cut. Mr. here is only on 20 minutes sleep. Hey, Willem. All the holes are cut now. So, just gonna make sure that they're all open. This is the um, staple gun that I've got. Don't know how it's gonna work, but yeah. Let's give it a try. Came with a whole box of staples and everything. You ready to give it a go? Yeah. Let's do it. This is actually pretty awesome. It is isn't it, Asha? Yeah. So what you do is you hold it down and... Look at that. How easy is that? Okay. Not as pretty as I thought it would be. Um, yeah, a big overestimation on size, actually. But that's okay. It's a learning curve. Now, I did something stupid. Asha, where was the blue box that we used to put this up? Under there. Under there. And what have we done? We can't get it out. We can't get it out because silly daddy has stapled all the way around. Oops. <laughs> Silly Billy. So now I've got to take these staples out and get the box out. My gosh.